So ours pick this week, the beautiful, beautiful trevally. Really plentiful, great fighting fish, underrated. When we grew up as kids, we thought this was bait. Now when we take out the Japanese fishing, anyone from Japan, this is all they want to catch. You know why? Because it makes the best sashimi, I reckon, in the world. It also cooks beautifully, so I'm going to show you how to deal to it. So we're just going to fillet this. It has a very, very fine scale. I am going to skin this because we are using it for sashimi. But I fill it like I normally do. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Just going to take the belly bones out. Like so. Right, now what I like to do, I've still got the skin on here, but I'm going to cut, I cut down the centre of the fillet, and then I angle across on the skin, because there's a bloodline I'm wanting to get rid of. The bloodline's fine, but if you can remove it, it's slightly bitter, and you'll see I've done that. There's a little bit left there, but I'll get that when I skin it. But look at that, just so beautiful, so fresh. So the bones are in the centre of that, and that's mainly bloodline on either side, right through there. Now I want to skin these. And basically when you're skinning a fish, I'm pulling the skin over the knife. So I'm pulling the skin, not the knife. Those are the fillets I'm going to cook. These are the fillets I'm going to sashimi. When you're cutting sashimi, you want to try and slice it through at one time, nice and thin. It is like butter through this fresh trevally. I just love the way New Zealanders have embraced raw fish. It really is so good for you. And the flavour itself is just incredibly delicate. Oh my lord. I am going to pour just a little bit of soy. You can do lots of different sauces. I'm going to show you how to do a ponzu, which would go well with this. I've got some fresh wasabi. This is the real deal, grown in New Zealand. I've got a little ginger syrup. And then I'm just going to do some drips over like that. <laughs> that is starting to look real good. And a bit of pickled ginger, of course. So that is my sashimi of Trevally. And I'm just going to have a little slice. It's as good as it gets, seriously. As far as sashimi of any fresh fish, Trevally, I understand why the Japanese simply adore it. It's just this texture that is off the dial. But the only way it can be like that is if it's looked after from the moment it is caught into a nice slurry, chilled down, left for a day, then cut, looked after all the way to the plate. But it also eats beautifully well cooked. So this is just a simple sauce that you can do. I've got some butter, of course, a few capers, some pepper juice, which are kind of like a, a, a sweet picante pepper, and some basil. I've got a little bit of parsley here too. Why don't I throw that into the mix? I'm going to cut up a red onion first into a little dice. This is just a pan sauce that you can do just in the pan straight after you've cooked the fish. Only takes a minute. You know, it's not all about measurements, it's just about ingredients. And I think if I chop this, these pepper juice up a couple of pieces, and the rest I'm just gonna toss the capers in, rip up the herbs. I've got a hot pan, neutral oil. No olive oil, neutral. Fill it a trevally. I'm gonna season it with a bit of salt and pepper. Gonna go in like that. Trevally, when you're cooking it, you cannot overcook it. Very, very important. Like all oily fish, like kingfish, like mackerel, kahawai. You know, they're an oily fish and they'll dry out very, very quickly. So this is not gonna take long at all. I'm just gonna season it on the other side, salt and pepper. And here we go, we're gonna turn it over. Look at that. I'm going to remove that from the pan, put it there. I'm going to put my red onions in. A little bit more oil. Get those going. I've 
I've got some peppers, a few capers, and then I'm gonna hit it with a knob of butter, because that's really a sauce, it's like a butter sauce. Got a lemon here. In that goes. Squeeze of lemon juice. Oh my lord! Look at that. And what have I done? I've just cooked it very, very quickly. It'll still be opaque in the center if we look at it. Just cook through, just to no more. Capers, red onion, some hot peppers, parsley, a little bit of basil, lemon juice. Oh my lord. This is one of my top picks. Value for money, crazy good value for money. And what it delivers, for the value proposition is unreal. Best sashimi in the world, and you can cook it as well. That's what I'd be doing. I'd be serving the sashimi while I was preparing the rest of it for dinner. Everyone gets a little bit of raw, followed by some cooked. Game changer.